let's just say this is not our first run-in with XPO Logistics. Grade on them. I don't know. They need a negative grade. A F is too good for them. F is too good for them. Negative grades. What is wrong with this picture? It was delivered on a pallet. The driver was very, very nice. Super, super nice. It's not centered. It's broken pieces. It's very, very broken. Like it's flopping all over the place. <clears throat> the only problem I did have was, um, according to Freedom Breeder, you're not supposed to accept it. You're supposed to call them on the spot. So I did that. I called them 11 times. I left three different messages for three different people. But I do understand that they are busy. And it's not a knock at them because um, after leaving those messages, I did get a message to say, basically, I need to email them pictures of the damage. I just wanted to make sure because the message, the policy says to call them while the driver is here. So the driver is here. Pretty much held him hostage for about 30 to 35 minutes. He was very, very nice. He's like, dude, I'm um, sorry. I really, really need to go to my next call, my next delivery. And I was like, I understand. Um, so I had to let him go because he did his job. It wasn't his fault. But as a company as a whole, XBO has dropped the ball. Let's take another look. So no tools, no cutters, no straps were cut, anything at all. Um, just kind of folded it over to take a look at the bottom. It's still shrink wrap in its entirety. Um, I don't even have a complete pallet. It was attached to the pallet. So apparently XBO has broken the pallet. Um, and this is the end game result. I have damage. I have all kinds of scuffs. I have broken tubs. That I must communicate with them about. Now I got to go through it. Sort everything out. Put things away. So, as you guys can probably tell, I'm a little pissed off, but I'm not going to let it, you know, ruin my whole day. Definitely going to stay upbeat, up-tempo, and get this thing done. I'm going to go through it, take an inventory, take the pictures I need to take to send over to Jesse uh, so they can rectify this issue. Um, hopefully, the ones that scuffed up, it's not scuffed up too bad where it's not visible, hopefully. Because um, we definitely want to see, uh, you spend so much money, you want to make sure that you get what you pay for. Um and see what I'm actually dealing with as far as how many tubs is actually damaged. So let's get into the facility and let's do a count. Let's see what we're dealing with. So that's the end of it. I got to do a count, but I got a couple FB5s and a bunch of FB8s. FB8, and somehow they got the edges kind of burnt or something. Maybe from the forklift or whatever, but I'm gonna take pictures and send them in. So this is what we working with before. Our freedom breeder tubs. have the after everything in there top to bottom got a few of the v18 vision tubs in there we got some snakes in there already switch everybody over to the freedom beater tubs with the bowl the molded bowl which is what we really really wanted um, we also got a up there in the corner we have a few of these it's just a freedom breeder fives we don't have very many um just in case we need them just in case we need to change the hatchling uh, to something smaller for it to feel more safer to eat again we're just doing some prep work for the seasons to come so there you have it um changing mood a little bit actually jesse from freedom breeder they ended up sending a few extra um Oh gosh, hand ashy. 
Uh, so it evened out. It sucks because we didn't get the extra bins, but I guess they already saw uh, some possibility of something being damaged. So they sent a couple extra. Uh, XPO, major thumbs down as always. They need to change the way they do business. Um, we would never support them at the moment, the way they're um, running their operations. But keep following us for all the content, all our updates on what we got going on here at Flaws and Exotic Creations. Um, all under that Flawless Umbrellas. Also, go check out Flawless Crested Geckos with all our things we got going on over there as well. But love you guys. Check in later.